Want to predict the future? Well, stick around and you can learn how to. Yes, I think I will. This ninth level wizard spell only requires the components of calculus and determination. You might be wondering, how can this AI guess what the graph will output? And the answer is that the AI is using a model called Recurrent Neural Network. This means that the AI will predict the x plus 1 step, and then with that prediction, make another over and over and over. Recurrent neural networks are critical to the predictive models such as the weather, stock prices, and chatbots. There are different styles of recurrent neural networks such as, but not limited to, standard, long short-term memory, and gated recurrent units. Each architecture has their own use cases, and for the simplicity of this video, we'll be going over the standard recurrent neural network. Even though this AI sounds and looks impressive, don't sell yourself short. You are like a recurrent neural network, as all of your actions are inspired by your previous actions. We are just office drones. We are office drones. All we do is work. Let's now take a look at the AI we'll be making in this video. I'll start by giving the bot a repeating pattern of ones and zeros similar to a sine graph. Pretty neat, right? Now let's increase the difficulty and give the model my current YouTube view rate. Interesting. I'll take a look at how accurate the predictions turn out to be. Finally, let's load the AI with a massive data set. I'm thinking something big like the Uber stocks from 2019 to 2022. Note, this is not financial advice, and the AI won't be predicting anything that hasn't already occurred in the year 2023. Wow, check that out. With only three years of data, we're able to closely map the graph patterns that Uber achieved in the start of 2023 without having that data available. Before we dive into the code, let's briefly go over how the math works. When the AI is predicting a graph, this is known as forward propagation. This can be defined as the summation of all the inputs modified by their weights and biases and tossed into an activation function. Forward propagation isn't as challenging as the name implies, and if you can solve basic algebra, you too can forward propagate. When the AI corrects its predictions to better fit a graph, that is known as backwards propagation. Backwards propagation is a reverse of what occurs in forwards propagation, and as you may guess, that means we'll need to take the derivative of how inaccurate our prediction was in order to adjust our future predictions to be more accurate. Recurrent neural networks are like as the name describes, recurrent. This means that forward and backward propagation are done in a loop. This loop can be seen as the visuals on screen now. The best part about this is how we almost infinitely expand our neural network with only requiring one layer of neurons. All right, now that you know about recurrent neural networks, let's dive into the code. First, we are going to need our recurrent neural network. This is going to take in an input size, an activation function, and a seat. Even though we want randomness when initializing our weights and biases, we more importantly want controlled randomness to ensure that when we are evaluating our model, we can consistently recreate the solution or error. Next, we have forward propagation. I decided to make this a hidden function, and we will get into the two abstract methods that call this later. In forward propagation, we want our inputs and how far we'll be stepping into the future when we are predicting. Be careful, predictions that are too far into the future may be built off of bad previous predictions. Think of a multiple part test question where you got part B wrong in order of A through F. Finally, we have the star of the show, our backwards propagation through time. This code isn't much, but it's very powerful as it iterates over all the predictions and slightly modifies the weights and biases. Notice how we wait till the end to update the weights and biases. This is because in calculating the delta, it is important to know what we gave as our weights to each prediction. That was easy. Congrats! With these three methods, you have the backbones of recurrent neural networks. I'll now go over some abstract methods to help the programmer's experience when using this class. For forward propagation, we have two abstract methods for if we want to fully predict from start to end, or if we only want to predict at the ending snapshot. 
For backwards propagation, we have an abstracted method called train, which we'll use to gather our predictions as well as the error derivative before calling the backwards propagation through time. And lastly, we have a reset class in case we want to start over our training from scratch. We also have a collection of activation functions such as leaky ReLU, ReLU, and sigmoid. Each have their own use case and excel at different graphs. I found leaky ReLU works best for data that doesn't have boundaries, whereas sigmoid is very powerful for data that we know exists within a fixed range. There's a Tekento UI, however, if you want to find that, as well as the code, my GitHub can be found in the comments and descriptions below. If you enjoyed learning about recurrent neural networks, you should also check out this video here and consider subscribing. Till next time, friends!